I didn't see Cam lately. He looking more like uh, something out of a Star Wars movie or something. I saw him over there with he had uh, some Darth Maul outfit on. I'm like, man, he looking like Darth Maul. Got the whole thing a scarf around his neck. He, yo, what's up? What's happening? Yo, I got a new song out. It's called something like Be Like Flea. And I got this bootleg, Destiny's Child. What girl, she kind of look like Beyonce. She's all up in there. She's all up in there, too. Yo, that's how we get down. <laughs> Yo, be like Flea. <laughs> I make it stinky, stinky. I make it inky, inky. And I got a chick. She kind of looked like Nikki. I used to have a girl. She was thicky, thicky. <laughs> she loves your boy. I'm in them dicky dickies. <laughs> oh, man. Killer Cam. <laughs> What's up, Shaman Carcino here? <laughs> like I say, hit the Cash App up. Carcino's the name on the Cash App. And definitely don't forget to hit up the Streamlab. You know. On the stream lab, you can hit the donate button and donate to the page. <coughs> so, at any time, that can go down. Now, let's review this. <laughs> Purple Haze 2. I'm mad I wasted all this time going through this entire breakdown of dealing with this camera right now. Uh, Medellene is probably the best song on the tape. Believe in Flea is all right. It's too many songs. They, it's just all thrown together. It's like a cash grab, you know? And it's not like it's bad. It's just so, it's like a, it's nothing to keep you engaged. For real, you listen to this album and you, and you say to yourself, like, what am I doing here? This is something you would have playing in the background. Like, whoever did the beats and the production, they was on point. It's just some of the rhymes are, like, dated. And some of it is just, like, when you can tell when someone's not in the realm of, of being a, a artist no more. Like they've been out the game for a while and they come back and start making music and having some music that they had stored in the uh, attic. So, uh, let me see. Big deal. I don't know. They got the all night long, the Mary Jane song. It's just, it's like I said, you got to understand something. Um, the first album, Purple Haze, he abandoned the album. He was off, he was off Def Jam. At that point, 
they paid, uh, bought out his contract, and he was just gone. And his album was thrown out with no promotion whatsoever. And all of a sudden, things turn around and what made more sense was the fact that What made more sense is that um, this project and just just being separated from it and the first Purple Haze project, that just made more sense for it to be gone. Then with this, it's just like, look, we had all these songs. Mace came and whooped our butt and we were supposed to come out with another joint, but we had to wait till the Mace thing died out and here we are to get back. <laughs> Everybody mad at Trump. <laughs> Tell Bill Clinton. I said, pass the blunt. <laughs> I mean, it's like when somebody makes some music that's kind of dated, it sounds a little bit dated. That's all. Cam can't adjust to the times. But his guy who's making beats and production, you know, he's dope. So, um, out of four stars, I give it two stars. It's listenable. There's far too many songs. Listen to it at your own risk. Um, I'm not too eager with the project. You know, it is what it is. So, y'all tell me what y'all thought about it. I'm out.